Dear NTR TV viewers, we are here with a new Agriculture and History program. In this program, we will talk about beekeeping. What are the necessary conditions for beekeeping? Beekeeping methods. What should be done for beekeeping? We will explain the benefits of beekeeping for human health. Let's start our program. The hum of bees. It is the sound of the garden. Bees have a lot to offer us if we just listen. The first and basic condition for beekeeping is to love bees. If you ask who is the beekeeper, the beekeeper is a qualified beekeeper who has the knowledge and skills to prepare beehives, produce queen bee, swarm, and bee products, maintain the bee colony, feed harvest bee products, maintain and repair beekeeping tools and equipment on his own and with a certain period of time. Beekeeping is practiced in many European and African countries as a hobby as well as commercially. There are those who do this job for the continuation of the lineage of their bees without taking any honeys for years. We probably don't need to say it, but we said that the most important condition for being a beekeeper is to love bees. So, is theoretical knowledge necessary? Before starting beekeeping, it is necessary to do the necessary research and learn the basic theoretical information about this subject. In addition to conventional beekeeping from many sources, it is also important to learn and evaluate concepts such as organic and ecologic beekeeping. First of all, you need to learn about the bee, a very special creature. We do not recommend you start this business without having knowledge of the colony members, the living order of the colony, and other issues related to beekeeping. There are practically three different ways to start beekeeping. One of them is to swarm an empty hive you have purchased. You can start by catching an orphan swarm we find on your land, or in your house, or in the forest, or by purchasing a hive with bees. According to a belief among the people, if a colony has come to your house, it means that you must own it and take good care of it. If you have no experience in this field, the best way to start is to buy a strong, quality colony from a beekeeper you know and trust. Considering that the bee is also a living creature and taking the risk of failure, it is recommended to start beekeeping with a maximum of three hives. After learning the techniques over time and deciding on the most ethical beekeeping methods for you, you can increase the number of your hives over time. The methods of opening the beehive and checking the frames are very important. Looking at a frame, you should be able to tell which cell contains offspring, which contains honey, and which contains pollen. You can practice from photos to gain the ability to recognize female bees, drones, and queens at first glance. Bees begin to multiply and swarm rapidly in spring. In these months, you can buy your hives and start searching for beekeepers in the area. If you're going to buy from a beekeeper, make sure that the colony you will receive is a frame with at least five bees. And buy it with a frame account and not a hive account. We recommend starting with a new hive, as old hives can transmit disease. However, over time, we need to learn what the various problems in the hive might be and the necessary methods to prevent them. Considering your own health and in order to be able to do beekeeping safely, it is necessary to know the behaviors that make bees angry and to take precautions. It is necessary to take into account that you will be working in open field in beekeeping. These are okay if you say where you can do beekeeping. Before you start beekeeping, learn about bee breeds suitable for your region. Not all bees work under the same conditions with the same efficiency and happiness. 
For this, you can find beekeepers there for a long time, chat with them, and benefit from their knowledge and experience. Before buying your colony and hive, you should research the situation of the place where you will put the bees in terms of honey and pollen plants, so that your bees are not without food. Even many experienced beekeepers can lose their bees to starvation. Considering the distance covered by the bees as a 5 km bird flight circle, you can observe the blooming time of the flowers in the distance they can travel. The wind condition of the apiary where you will put the bees should also be checked. And the other climatic conditions of the region, namely precipitation and humidity, should be investigated very well. Another need of bees, besides nectar and pollen, is clean water, just like humans. Do not forget to research the distance and cleanliness of the water sources that will meet these needs. Finally, remember that you will need a variety of materials in beekeeping. The place where you will arrange to put your materials and do your work is important. Leaving materials under the sun and rain will cause them to age quickly. Although you don't need much when you first start, you'll realize you need to buy more if you continue beekeeping over time. If your bees are happy and healthy, they will make you happy too. Remember that they are also living creatures. The life of the bee is like a magic well. The more you draw from it, the more water it fills. If the bee disappears from the face of the earth, humans will only have four years to live. We will continue to cover more about the mystery of the bee in greater detail in our next programs. Stay on NTR TV until we meet again in a new bee adventure program. Goodbye for now. <music>